Okay, I see that they did at least paint over the graffiti that was here that I put um, in one of my uploads. And I guess they're mad that it was cleaned up. And that's why they shit all over here. I told you SFPD are a bunch of primates. Who you calling a monkey, you racist motherfuckers? You pigs are the primates. They play with their fucking poops. They're so disgusting. Look at all that. So this is their way of saying, well, they may have covered up this graffiti, but we shit all over this park. This is how little respect they have for this park. They hate the city. Hobry and SFPD hate this city. This is why they do this shit to this, because they only care about their money. They don't care about people. They don't care about the drug addicts that are dying, that are overdosing. Ooh, and speaking of that, what the fuck is up with that fentanyl? These overdoses that are at an all-time high, and they're having trouble, um, like, at the border. A lot of fentanyl is coming through. So I would like to think that that's because Hell Chapo is cooperating as a spiritual defense attorney has been trying to um, encourage him to do and essentially turn on all of his devil's Democrat government employees and dirty cops. So if El Chapo is cooperating and he's not flowing all the drugs anymore to the city, that bitch is just getting dirty ass fentanyl and she's just fucking killing off drug addicts left and right. What was almost 800 last year? But she's like, we've got to close your business. She literally said this. I don't ever want to have to tell someone their mother or their loved one died of coronavirus. Oh, she's so funny. But she don't give a fuck that all these people that are somebody's mother, somebody's father, somebody's brother, somebody's sister, somebody's child are dying from fentanyl overdoses. Unless she tries to use that as her excuse to open safe injection sites, which it's not to save their lives. It's so that she can have those employees sell drugs directly, just like they do at the places that want to open the safe injection site, Health Rights 360. Their Walden House is a licensed drug rehab. People are going there on probation and things. They're supposed to get clean. Both the staff and the residents are all on drugs and selling drugs to each other. Nothing in this city is like legitimate. It's all a crock of shit. It's all a front. So that's why, and even she said, recently, I, I gotta get back to that video and address that one. She was like, yeah, we did something and we opened up and like something for, I guess we got a few hundred beds for some drug addicts. And she was like, so we could get a direct pipeline in this really sinister way, meaning, yeah, so that they can sell them their drugs directly in places that they're supposed to be getting clean. That's what I'm telling you. The Mexican and Italian mafia fucking hates whole breed. They ain't never seen somebody so evil. But then again, they normally do not do drug trafficking business with black females. And whole breed is the poster whore for why they don't. The, the brain dead whore for why they don't. They cannot be trusted. Look at this. Another fucking shithole. And this is right on the property. So again, um, this is a fucking, what is it? One of these pumping stations or something. It, it belongs to the city. Somebody should be cleaning up the shit that's all over it. Wouldn't you think? Pumping station. Oh, that's so nasty. So many shitholes. Okay, we still right there. I'll just be pausing it just to save a few seconds here and there and then I see something. The Richmond District is just as abused and neglected as the Sunset District. And these are like some of the beautifulest parts of the city. It's really upsetting. Doesn't this remind you of the Tenderloin? This is why I don't go to the Tenderloin! Fucking huge pile of shit right there. Look at this. Right along here. It's visible. Where's one of those Hispanics to clean it up since the liberal whites hate to work? Shit is disgusting. 
There we are, the Playa Safeway. It's